Hello everyone and welcome to the Hoops Hall of Fame podcast. This is Matt Laner. Today we're going to be talking about how to be a boss. We got the perfect music in the background bossing up, so we're going to get down right into this. I got three main topics on how you can be a boss in your own life, and your own game. Number one, be about it, don't talk about it. Like I mentioned in a previous podcast about the difference between cockiness and confidence. You don't want to be someone who's talking all the time if you want to be a boss. You don't want to be someone who's telling others how good they are, how confident they are. You want to just do it. You want your actions to do the talking, not your your mouth. Bosses don't talk. This doesn't mean you can't trash talk, you can't be confident. But you need to do it at the right times, you need to keep it to a minimum. Bosses don't talk, they act. They let their actions, they let their game, they let their life do the talking. So number one, be about it, don't talk about it. Number two, not too high, not too low. Emotional stability. You want to be perceived as someone who is calm under pressure, that can handle any emotional turmoil, and not let it affect their life. That's how you want to be perceived and how you actually want to be. You, you can't let bad games, you can't let relationships, you can't let anything in your life that happens affect you from achieving your goals, from doing the things you need to do every single day. You need to have emotional stability and consistency in your life. And if you are doing this, others will just perceive you as a boss and they will come to you with their problems. They will just come to you and treat you with respect because they know that you can handle anything that they throw to you. They'll give you more tasks if you're at a job. They'll give you more responsibilities because they know that you'll be able to handle it. So number two, learning to control your emotions and have stability. And number three, resilience and consistency. These are, especially consistency, are things that I talk about a lot and it's very important. If you want to be a boss, you've got to have the resiliency to achieve and overcome any obstacles, any setbacks. And have that consistency no matter what's going on that you're going to continue to take steps forward every single day whether you're seeing results or not you have a goal in mind and you're striving towards it every single day with consistency and you will eventually reach the point that you're trying to reach but it's about taking those steps every day realizing that you're going to have setbacks you're going to have things that happen but you're still taking steps forward whether you feel like it or not you're still doing these things every single day that's how you are going to be a boss in your own life and in this game of basketball. So again, the three ways you can be a boss. Number one, let your words, keep your words to a minimum and let your actions do the talking. Number two, emotional stability. Learning to be calm under pressure and not let anything emotionally affect you. Don't get too high, don't get too low. Bad things happen, stay in that center ground. When good things happen, Stay in that, that center ground as well. You know, don't get too high, don't get too low. It doesn't mean don't enjoy life, but you need to have that consistency. When that period of high energy is done with, you need to come back down to that neutral place and get your stuff done. And number three, resiliency and consistency. Taking steps forward every single day to achieve your goals. Those are the three steps to being a boss in your own life. And thank you for listening today to the Hoops Hall of Fame podcast. Please like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and I'll talk to all of you again tomorrow on the Hoops Hall of Fame podcast.